What's up you guys? My name is Aaron Oster. I am a number one best-selling author on Amazon and please don't mind the background noise. I mean my apartment's got uh, it doesn't have central air conditioning so I've got to keep ACs going so if you hear that white noise in the background please just know that I'm not throwing like a squirrel through a wood chipper. I don't know why I went with that analogy like I honestly don't <laughs> know what noise a squirrel would make uh, okay, you don't forget it. Alright. Forget that. Get that image out of your head. Just don't mind the white noise. Uh, today's a bit different uh, because I released a book today. Um, I released Origin. That is the third book in my Land of the Elemental series. Um, I had a lot of fun with this book. And today I thought I'd share with you what a release day sort of looks like. Explain how the bestseller rankings work on the Amazon store and what you want to see typically on a release day and how my books sort of uh, go in this thing, I guess. Okay, whatever. So with that said, if you guys could just like destroy that like button, subscribe, you know, subscribe again. Go sign into a different email address and subscribe again. I really want to get to 100 subscribers. I'm still not there. Um, but that's besides the point. Uh, so just do that. And uh, let's get right into the video. So on a release day, the first thing I do is I always get up earlier than I normally do. And that's not because I set my alarm for them. It is because I'm too nervous to sleep any later. It's always hard for me to fall asleep the night before a release and getting up in the morning is not all that difficult because I can never sleep late on a release day. So the first thing I do is I check the pre-order and I'm going to turn you guys around right now so you can see that too. Isn't that amazing? You got to look inside the world of uh, my stuff. So just give me a second. Let's get that all. Okay, here we go. So as you can see... The pre-order of this book sold 163 copies, uh, which is about typical for uh, this particular series. Um, some other series will obviously pre-order a bit more because they're more popular. I, I'm not going to lie, you know, this, this series is pretty popular and most of the sales do come uh, in the form of Kindle Unlimited page reads. Uh, which is where people can just pay $9.99 a month and read as many books as they want that are enrolled in the program. So the first thing I do is check the pre-order and see how that did. Um, generally, it, you know, I go to sleep around 10 o'clock and the pre-order ends whenever uh, whatever time zone Amazon is on, I'm pretty sure. So, normally it, it isn't that much higher than when I went to sleep. Like, I think last night when I went to sleep, I had 161 pre-orders and it went up to 163, you know. Not crazy, but not horrible either as far as uh, book release is concerned. So, after I've checked the pre-order, I'll start preparing all of my, gosh, ads. My uh, talking about the book stuff for the day. I'll start posting up to all the various groups, uh, stick around there for a bit to answer any messages and stuff like that. And then what I'll do is I will go and check how the book is doing in the Amazon Kindle store. Don't mind me, I am just doing stuff on my laptop. I am not ignoring you. You guys are still awesome. <laughs> so right now I'm going to flip you around again and show you the page. Uh, what it looks like and I'll explain a bit more how the ranking system works on Amazon so here we go okay I flipped you around so as you can see we've got origin land of the elementals book three you got a freaking awesome cover from Mibble art the place I talked about in that other video you guys can get covers like this too if you're looking so as you can see right now there is a number one bestseller tag right next to the book now this doesn't mean that it is a best-selling book that isn't the criteria I go by and by what most people go by but it is the best seller in that particular category Amazon has tons and tons of categories for their books and getting ranked at the number one in a category um, isn't all that hard if you choose your categories right what you really want to be looking at is the Amazon bestsellers rank right now as you can see the book is 3495 in the store I am 
estimating or projecting that this book is probably going to reach into the 700s by the time the day ends. At least that's what I'm hoping for, and I am basing that off how the last books performed. Um, now you can see right over there the actual categories that are showing up over here on the page. Uh, you can be part of or in a, a maximum of 10 categories, and I'm sorry for the shaky camera and the weird focus thing. I don't know what my phone is doing here, but gosh. Okay, hopefully you can read that between my phones acting like, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's on something. So it's number nine in one category, number one in one, which is why I got that tag, and number two in another one. So the goal is obviously to try to get the number one in everything. So you have options, so they'll cycle through showing the number one. So if you lose that number one, a bestseller orange tag, which does lend your book a bit more credibility, even if it doesn't mean anything, unless you're in a really competitive uh, category. Uh, but seeing that bestseller tag will make people uh, take you more seriously, even if it doesn't mean all that much. Uh, what you really want to concentrate, obviously, is that Amazon bestsellers rank. And for those who really want to be bestsellers, you want to get onto Amazon's top 100. You see here it says, see top 100 paid in Kindle store. We're going to give that a click so we can see what is number one right now. As you can see, the book right over here, Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I don't know who she is. I've never actually read the book, but I've never heard of her before. But if you click on the book, you can see right over here. Uh, okay. So normally you'd get a number one bestseller in the Kindle store tag, and that is something that every author wants to get. Um, but as you can see, it is number one on the Amazon charts this week. So we'll click on that too, because why not? So Amazon, pretty much every week, uh, has their most read for their Kindle Unlimited, and most sold uh, as far as books go. And as you can see right over here, most read in the fiction Harry Potter is right at the top. Not surprised about that because they are always on the freaking list. But that aside, um, Amazon charts are basically the top 20 most read and most sold books that week in the Kindle store. And you will get a blue tag like this next to your name instead of an orange tag. Uh, you know, that blue tag is... Sorry about that. Something you'd also really want to get. So, so Amazon's top 100 is something that every author wants to get into. You want to be on that Amazon top 100 list. I personally have had three books uh, get onto Amazon's top 100 list. I hit Starbreak, uh, the second book in Rise to Omniscience, that's a different series. It hit number 78. Skyflare hit number 69. Yes, <laughs> 69. And Solar Spire, which is the fourth book, hit number 87. Uh, getting into the top 100, you gotta sell like a nice amount of books. And to stick it out, you gotta keep selling books. So I always say that I'm a bestseller, and what do I consider to be a bestseller? So let me go into that. So the New York Times basically says that a bestselling author is someone who sells between five and 10,000 books within the first week of their book's release. Uh, they have to sell through various different platforms. That means you can't have one source and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Basically, the New York Times is very snobby. They won't touch self-published authors because they're too good for them. <laughs> um, so I call myself a best-selling author under the criteria of uh, two things, basically. For Amazon, I think that if you crack Amazon's top 100, you should automatically be considered a best-selling author because that's not an easy thing to do. You really need to sell a lot of books to get into the top 100 in the first place. Um, as far as book sales are concerned, the second book I released in the opening weekend sold about 7,000 books. So that definitely meets uh, the New York Times criteria for book sales alone in being considered a best-selling author. But if you manage to crack Amazon's top 100, that is something you should definitely be proud of. I mean, it is it is a very big achievement. And, you know, even if you break into the 200s or 300s, that is a very, very good seller ranking to hit, especially if you manage to stick around there for a few weeks. Your sales are steady. That means that you're doing really, really well. Um, so, like I said, I am hoping to get into the seven or 800s with this book by the time it ends. 
Right now it is currently sitting at 34.95 and I'll refresh it every hour or so to see if it's gone down at all. Um, that aside, let me check my talking points over here because I know I'm forgetting stuff. All right, uh, what I like to do on a release day. Uh, while I will do a bit of work on release days, I typically try to take it a little bit easier because, you know, it's it's a release day. You want to celebrate, you want to relax, you want to make it a little bit special, even if you're releasing books every month like I am, uh, just to make it a little bit different from every other day because I run my own business, I do a lot of work in a day, and I have very little time to myself normally. So I'll kick back, relax, maybe play some video games or do a little drawing or just anything that I enjoy. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that's pretty much everything I do on a release day, uh, which is not much. <laughs> okay, um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you suck it out all the way to the end. If you have any questions about publishing on Kindle, uh, what it's like, how you can do better marketing, or just get your name really out there, and or literally any other questions you guys have about writing or publishing or anything. I mean, really. Uh, just let me know down in the comments. Uh, I, I really enjoy making these videos, and, and I actually had to reshoot this one uh, because the first one, I don't know, something happened with it. Didn't, didn't turn out like I wanted, so I actually reshot this. But you know what, today I actually have a little extra time, so I could shoot a bit of a longer video. What is it, like uh, 12 minutes probably going to be about? Okay, whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment with what you want to hear, what you like, or just tell me how your day's been going. Uh, you can find all of my books, you know, just click on my link, it'll take you right to my author page. You can see everything you want over there, my Instagram, you know, go follow me on Instagram. I've got a ton of stuff there, I'm actually doing a giveaway today for uh, Rampage, the first book in my series. So if you get in there quickly enough, you guys can uh, maybe win a free book, an ebook. I I'm not actually shipping anything. Okay, uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time.